¿Cuántos días lo tiene de tener aquí? Tiene, eh, comenzamos el viernes de la semana pasada. Creo un... Viernes de la semana pasada, sí. Entonces, estamos hablando que son... Viernes, eh... sábado, domingo, en un 3, 4 días. So the tobacco has four days to be hanging out here. About a week almost, right? Going yes. the first week. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you will see, man, oh, and one, it's this is very impressive, man. Mm -hmm. the, the cure barn that we usually go, you know, the one that, the farm that is right in the bottom of the estate is so different compared to this one, man, that this one beautiful. looks like gold to me. You say Criollo or Corojo? Criollo. Criollo, Criollo, Criollo 98. 98. 98. Sí. Entonces, este va a estar aquí para 45 días. Mm, mire, en el caso de, de este tabaco, si ustedes lo ven, está bastante amarillo, está bastante avanzado. So, as you can see, this, this tabaco, the, the, the leaf looks very yellow, that's what he said. Sí, y este tabaco, el tipo de casa, si ustedes lo ven, es forrado con poroplas. Oh, okay, now we are talking. Now, the cure barns, as you can see, is not made by wood. It's not made by plastic, it's not made, it's not made by cartoon, it's made by, how do you call it? Poroplast. Poroplast. Sí. Oh, okay, cool. Entonces, so significa that's, that's que este tabaco pudiera oh, ser, oh. él va a decir, él me va a decir a mí si después está 30 días o un poquito más, pueden ser lo que él dice, mm -hmm. o menos, porque sí. él, es como aquí no hay como, ventilación. Como un termo. Sí, es como un termo, correcto. All right, so basically, you know, the tobacco by itself will tell him how many days Sorry. he's going to be here. Something can be 30 days, something can be 35 days. But normally, you know, in, in average, it's 55 days. But because, you know, they have like a... Well, it looks like cooler, you know? Right. Ventilation. Words, there is no ventilation going on. En el caso de este tabaco, este tabaco aquí, si nosotros no le damos calor con... ¿Cómo le pueden decir ustedes? Con carbón. Con carbón, este tabaco se nos va a sudar. Se nos va a podrir, mm -hmm. porque aquí no hay ventilación por el tipo de... <laughs> Basically, entonces ustedes no, no echan ni agua en nada tampoco. No. Ahorita así como está, la muchacha nos anda limpiando porque comenzamos a hacer los huecos. Mm -hmm. Estamos dando calor en una casa. ¿no? Vamos a ver eso. Fresh at this este, point. Yeah. Eh, vamos It'll a hacer los huecos para darle calor. They might add water to the floor. Right. So, yeah, that's correct. That's what he said. So, basically, you know... So, the formations are... For well, they out. wet down water because they are cleaning it up, you know, before yeah. they add the charcoal, but... Basically, what they do, they dig the holes in, in, in the floor and they throw right. charcoal on it because right. there's two other ways they do. Right. Uh -huh. They either add water when the leaf starts to get too dry, okay, to keep the moisture level up in the barn. And they just simply do that by just spraying the entire floor. In fact, I mean, you guys may have seen it before. Sometimes they'll actually flood the floor with a couple inches of water. Depends on how much water moisture you need in the space. The opposite is when it's too damp, what they'll do is they'll take these small little holes that you see, these little pits, dugouts, yeah. and they'll burn charcoal in them to increase the heat in the barn to drive out the humidity. So it's a combination of either adding water or adding charcoal to try to control it in addition to having the vents. Wow. 